This wolf didn't move away from the woman, and when the doctor took a closer look, they quickly called the police. Amber Smalls was a 24-year-old woman who lived in a small town in America. She had just finished college and had landed a fairly well-paying job in the city. Every day, she would have to commute to her workplace, which could take her up to an hour. As well as that, being a new graduate, she was still learning all of the ins and outs of the new job, and whilst she loved every bit of it, it did leave her quite stressed out at the end of the day. Because of this, Amber often liked to take walks in the local woods near her home. She found that the peacefulness of nature and the clean, fresh air relaxed and refreshed her after a long day at work. But whilst she adored the forest, Amber always made sure to stick to the paths and tracks that she knew and that stayed near the entrance of the woods. This was because she knew that there were dangerous animals such as wolves and bears who lived in the woods who could seriously injure her should she cross their path. However, one day something happened that would forever change Amber's life. The young woman had finally gotten a day off of work and luckily for her, it was a beautiful day with the sun shining down. Amber decided that she would go for a walk as she hadn't been able to for the last couple of days due to arriving home from work late. Once she got ready, the young woman headed out on her trip. She walked along one of her favorite routes, which was a bit further into the tree line, but held a lot more beauty. Amber was enjoying looking at a beautiful, colorful flower, when all of a sudden, she heard a high-pitched howl. The woman froze. The howl sounded close by, and she was afraid that the animal would soon be running through the trees and right towards her. After standing still for a couple of moments, Amber once again heard the howl, only this time it sounded more sorrowful and pained. It was at this point that Amber decided something that would change her life. She felt worried, as the animal making the noise was clearly in pain, and the young woman wanted to help out. Not knowing what else to do, she began to walk towards the area where she thought the sound was coming from. After a few moments of walking, Amber came across a sight that broke her heart. In the middle of some trees, a lone wolf lay on the ground, whimpering in pain. At first, Amber stayed where she was. She didn't want to get too close to the wild canine, as she didn't know what was wrong with it, and she didn't want to be attacked. However, after observing the wolf for a few minutes, Amber realized that it was stuck somehow. The young woman inched closer in the hopes that she would be able to see just what was keeping the wolf in place. Upon hearing the young woman getting closer, the wolf lifted its head and looked over at her. The animal started growling, causing Amber to freeze in her steps. But only seconds later, the canine started whimpering again. Now that she was closer, Amber was able to see what had happened. The wolf had gotten tangled up in some old wire and it was unable to move. Feeling sorry for the creature, the young woman took a deep breath and once again started creeping closer to the wolf. Once she was a few feet away from the animal, Amber crouched down and took out the small pocket knife that she always took with her on walks. The young woman then started cutting away the wire. The entire time that Amber worked on setting the wolf loose, the animal simply watched her and made no sounds nor moves to attack her. Finally, after a tense few minutes, Amber cut the final wire and the wolf was able to break free. Immediately, the young woman moved back a few steps to allow the canine some space to become comfortable again. Amber watched as the wolf, who she could see was a female, stretched herself out. But the more she watched, the more Amber realized that there was something wrong with the wolf. She was limping. It seemed that one of the wires had cut into the creature's leg a little bit. What amazed Amber the most, however, was the fact that instead of running off into the woods, the wolf turned to look at the young woman. Then, after seemingly assessing her, the wolf limped over to Amber and started rubbing her head against her. Amber was amazed at what was happening. The wild canine was thanking her by being friendly. Taking advantage of the situation, Amber even gave the wolf some pets. The young woman knew though that with her injured leg, the wolf wouldn't be able to hunt for herself anytime soon and that without help, she risked going hungry. Knowing this, Amber decided that she would continue to help the animal until she was able to look after herself again. Over the course of the next few weeks, Amber ventured into the woods every day to take the wolf some food. She would always meet her at the clearing where they had first met 
and made sure to give the wolf a good helping of meat. Quickly, the two began to form a strong bond, and before long, both the wolf and Amber were looking forward to their daily meetings. One day though, something strange happened. Amber didn't turn up at the meeting spot. The wolf was confused and a little concerned, as her friend had never once missed their meetings. But, not knowing what else to do, she simply decided to try meeting her again the next day. However, the next day came and went, and once again, Amber didn't show up to the clearing. Completely worried now, the wolf made up her mind to go in search for her friend. The canine ventured out of the woods and followed Amber's scent. She soon found herself at a graveyard, where a group of people were gathered around a coffin. The wolf quickly approached the coffin. Martin, Amber's husband, stood next to the coffin with tears in his eyes. It seemed that Amber had passed away. It had been incredibly sudden and no one had expected it to happen, and he was devastated. He had truly loved her, so to lose her like that had been incredibly shocking. Just as he was about to start burying her though, the wolf ran up to the coffin and began to growl. The group of people backed away in shock and fear. But upon closer inspection, Martin realized that the animal was the very wolf that his wife was always talking about. He was amazed that she had traveled all that way just to find Amber. Martin watched as the she-wolf sniffed at the coffin. It seemed that she knew who was in the wooden box, and the canine was getting more and more anxious to get her out. The animal was so wound up that she even began to bite and scratch at the coffin in an effort to get it open. At first, a few of the funeral attendees tried to stop her, but after a few growls, they quickly stopped and backed away once more. Finally, after a particularly strong scratch, the coffin lid opened. But it was what happened next that shocked everyone. From the small opening that the wolf had made in the coffin, a hand came out and pushed the rest of the lid away. Seconds later, Amber burst from the coffin, gasping for breath. Everyone gasped in shock. They couldn't believe what they were seeing. It must be a miracle. Martin quickly rushed over to Amber and helped her out of the coffin before calling the police and a doctor. As the young woman sat on the ground though, the she-wolf trotted over to her and immediately began to lick her face and give her cuddles. Amber happily reciprocated as she knew that she owed her life to the animal. Once the police and the doctor arrived at the scene, Amber was quickly given a health check to figure out just what had actually happened as everyone was sure that she had passed away. The doctor was able to determine that Amber had suffered from a medical condition called catalepsy. This is when a person falls into a trance or seizure with a loss of sensation and consciousness accompanied by rigidity of the body. It often makes the person appear as if they are dead. Luckily for Amber, the she-wolf was able to detect that she was still alive and get her out of the coffin in time. After the scare, Amber and Martin went back on living their lives, happy to have a second chance. However, there was one added member of the family. The she-wolf was often spotted around their home, happily greeting the young woman and enjoying meals in the garden. What an amazing story! Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more awesome videos.